Hola, welcome back. Today we're, this wall is so ugly. One sec. Okay, much better. What are you doing? Okay. Today, we're joined here by Mushu. He's my, um, he or she, I don't really know. He's my, um, stunted crested gecko. Yippee dee yay. Um, he or she, they, them is really small and has a lot of issues. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how I set up their cage. I really appreciate if you'd stop practicing while I'm trying to film a video. I really appreciate if you stopped filming while I was practicing. Okay, so here is my hermit crab's tank. Um, I have a bioactive sub setup, that, and I use um, sand, a combination of sand and coconut fiber substrate, so basically eco-earth, to make it um suitable for the plants to grow so um right here this big one in the middle that is a pothos plant over here i have a drachnea plant over there i have a fern but it's kind of dying so i'm probably going to replace it with something else um this tank is relatively new um over here i have right there i have their salt water bowl over here that you, which you can't see Right here, I have their fresh water bowl. Um, both of which need to be changed. I haven't done that today. Um, so yes, let's take a peek inside. Okay, so I have this light and I was using it to help the fern grow more, but it's not really working. Okay, so I made this lid. Um, it's basically just some cardboard pieces cut around the edges. Um, they have they don't need very much ventilation because hermit crabs have um, gills and so they breathe through those gills and not through the air around them so you want to keep it as humid as possible to keep their gills wet and then so but um, with that air can get over here in here through this hole sorry what the heck through this hole that the light is shining through and then also through these slits and the top doesn't fit perfectly so the air does get in so there is some ventilation okay, so let me take this okay so starting over here we have this fake plant that gets turned over all of the time a hermit crab just got really scared. This is, um, this is Yoshi. It's one of my first hermit crabs. So here's her saltwater bowl. Here's a hide that they have. Here's one of the plants in here. And they really like to climb up in here. This plant is super sturdy. So they climb up into this. Here's their saltwater bowl. <laughs> really needs to be changed. They got it really dirty um, since yesterday. Here's their food. I gave that to them last night. I need to change it out. I'm probably going to not use a food bowl anymore. I'll probably just start sprinkling their food around. So I usually feed them a combination of seaweed, um, some pleco wafers, which are basically just a bunch of um, vegetables, um, dried krill, dried shrimp, um, sometimes if I have crickets on hand that have died, I'll throw those in there and then I sprinkle it all with calcium and then um, every once in a while I do like to give them some fr fresh fruits and veggies from my fridge. And then, so, I don't know where my hermit cubs are right now. A lot of them have gone down to molt because it's that time of year. Um. There was a hermit crab in this shell just the other day, but there isn't anymore. So I wonder where, oh, I think I just found him. Yes, pretty sure this is him. This is either 
tiny or teeny tiny, yes, I need to come up with very creative names for my crabs. But, um, yeah, so I have tiny, no, teeny tiny is my smallest, then tiny, and then toad. Toad is my most friendly crab, I love him so much. And then I have Yoshi over here, and then my biggest crab is Toby. Um, and I'm gonna try to find him. He might be molting. Oh, here's, here's Tiny. Yeah. And then let's see if we can find Toad. Toad's super sweet. Um, oh, here's Toby. Here's Toby. Um, yeah. He really needs to move into a bigger shell. And I definitely have bigger shells available. Um, but he just doesn't want to take them. Like, this one is, would be a next size up. This one would be bigger. I do need to get him some more shells. He just really doesn't move very often, so I haven't really been in a hurry. And then this is Toad. Toad is my strangest hermit crab. Okay, so Toad is definitely my most energetic hermit crab but the thing is he has so many shells that he can move into including shells like this one but he really just wants to say in this small shell that he came in and he's definitely my nicest hermit crab he's getting really spooked from the camera right now um yeah he's not really used to that but he does really well with handling he's pretty clumsy so he just rolls off my hand all the time but yeah so that's the inside my cage um i'm gonna go wash my hands now because they're pretty dang dirty okay so i have i cleaned out their food bowl and i got it all dry and like i said i don't think i'm gonna use that anymore i think i might just sprinkle their food like around because then when it starts to get gross the springtails can like immediately like attack it and like eat all the mold off of it and stuff because then it feeds the springtails and the hermit crabs if you know what i mean okay so here's like our food bin so we have some crested gecko food and then the rest of this is all for the hermit crabs so here's freeze-dried krill yeah that's the krill and then this is reptocalcium i like to sprinkle on top um here's some seaweed um that I like to give them. And then these are Omega-1 veggie rounds, um, mainly used for plecos, but I like to give it to them because they really like it and then it gives them their fruits, or not their fruits, their, the vegetables that they, and like the, um, just like nutrients that they need, you know? The nutrients, they give them the plants that they eat. So um, here's what they look like. Yeah, and then I also give them some omega-1 freeze-dried shrimp, and um, so they have two different options that I give them for protein. Sometimes I'll give them like fresh chicken or ham and turkey, I just don't have any of that right now. And also sometimes I'll give them like strawberries or really whatever fruits I have on hand. Sometimes it's bananas, um, it really depends. I can't, I can't get straight, I can't get straight, oh, that's nice, okay, well, anyway, so, back to talking about hermit crabs, so, I know this is, like, uh, gonna be, like, a care video, but I should say now, sorry, I thought someone was coming, I should say now, I do not think anybody should get hermit crabs, so, there are not very many places out like people out there who have successfully been able to breed hermit crabs and so in result um large large industries um would like like want to make money off selling hermit crabs because hermit crabs are a very popular pet because people think they're super easy to care for that is not true at all hermit crabs are very difficult to take care of and when i first got them i did not realize that i was keeping them Three of them in a 10 gallon tank, which by the way, you need at least five gallons per hermit crab you have 
hermit crabs have to live, um, they have to live in groups. Um, those critter keepers that you see at the pet store that are like, hermit crab starter kit, woohoo, comes with like a little disc this big of, um, dirt, some like painted shells, some calcium sand, all of that is not good. Painted shells are very bad for hermit crabs. Um, like, so when they're wearing them, the paint will like start to like chip off. And so hermit crabs being scavengers, like I said earlier, eat literally everything they come across. They'll eat dirt, they'll eat like plastic if it's in their cage. Um, they'll eat like chips off shells. Um, they'll literally eat anything. So they end up eating this paint and this paint they use on these shells are n super harmful to hermit crabs. So people buy these hermit crabs for their children that are in like these cool race car cars. Shells are so cool. And then like after a year or two, this hermit crab has ingested so much paint that it's chipped off this car because this paint is not quality paint. Like it falls off right away. Um, and so much of this paint is chipped off this shell and the hermit crab's eaten it. Like it's dying. <laughs> dying. Um, sorry. God, I suck. Um, yeah, this hermit crab is ingesting so much pain and it's eventually just dies after two years. Hermit crab's lifespan can range anywhere from 10 to 30 years, maybe like even 40 years in some cases. Hermit crabs live a long time. They should not be dying after a year and a half. Um, Second, do not buy your hermit crabs calcium sand. Calcium sand is so not good for them, and it's also so m way too expensive. I just freaked out. I saw there is some mold growing right there from a piece of food that I never cleaned out. Oh my god. Okay, I took care of it. Well, anyway, um, I also forgot to mention I have spring tails in here. I don't know if I can find one, um, but they're like the decomposer of this cage um, since it is bioactive and bioactive setups do require um, some decomposers. I found so no, nah, no, I can't find any. Maybe I'll show you some later if I see spot any Toad doing his little thing. Look at him go. They're so cute. I love them so much. Let's put this lid back on. Okay. Okay, so thank you for watching our video. I'm editing and I forgot to do an outro. Yeah, thanks. So, I have to do my outro yeah. right now. <laughs> and, um, so I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Hi, I'm um, sorry again if this video is actual trash. I um, did my best and it failed. Okay, well, most of this video was trash. Okay, bye.